These packages of soil, these cores, are like time capsules from the past. And when we look at them, we can figure out clues about what it used to be like, what types of plants were there, and how warm it may have been in the past, and how much smaller the Greenland ice sheet was. So by cracking open these sediments for the very first time, we're able to learn more about what it used to be like in the past. The big question is, can the Greenland survive at a plus two degree warming? And what duration is necessary to produce a partial or total melting of the Greenland? So for that, we have to look into the past. All the meteorological measurements and atmospheric measurements humans have done in the last hundred years or so are already influenced by climate change that is human caused. So if we want to see the natural state of climate and natural variability, then we need to go way, way further back in time. And our archives provide this window into the past. My view is that the information we provide as scientists is sort of a manual. This is how the Earth works. If you add too much carbon to the atmosphere, it's going to get too warm. You're going to melt the ice sheets. You're going to change weather patterns, and it's going to make life very difficult for us as humans. Or we can look towards a different path with less carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and a future that is not as uh, uncertain and difficult for us. Thank you.